Hello awesome people, welcome back to Fast Solo Creation video tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can see a different PSD files or a different JPEG files as one document, okay? So by the end of this video, you are going to create something like this one, okay? All these ones were separate files, but we are going to learn how to create this one in photoshop so with your photoshop open make sure you have all your psd files open or all your jpeg files open and also i will comment to you guys that make sure you name the files in sequence okay either ascending order or descending order if you want your document to be arranged in systematic order for you so you can maybe save it as solomon one solomon two in that order okay so i have my files open here they are six so i'll select the first one both file and then i'll select automate and you'll see pdf presentation you click on that okay and then under the source you are going to see open add open files and boom when you click on that all the files is going to be added because they are open then from here you see that it's also sort by names that's why i recommend to you that you save them in sequence like in order maybe ascending order or descending order if you want them to arrange in order for you from here you click on save and then you give your file a name so let's say pass solo print and you choose the location in this case i'll choose desktop and i'll click on save a dialog box is going to pop up that is save adobe pdf okay and you see we have general under the general we have the pdf preset where we have different options like quality and if you want it to lower size you can select that one let's select the quality print modify okay and we can leave the rest of the setting and make sure we also have optimized for fast web view so that when you send someone he can easily view that and also it will be at a lower file size but with high quality then from here you click on if you want to compress it you can come here and choose different sizes but let's click on save and see if this one works for us so from here we will go to desktop to check whether it was able to save as we wish for so i'll go to file i'll go to desktop and i'll click on pass solo print to see whether we got what we wanted so from here you see that page one I start from how i wanted it to be like so this is how you can create multiple pages as one document in photoshop please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't okay and not just subscribing turn on the post notification bell so that you my friend will get notified anytime you upload a new video until next time keep creating never give up personal creation i'm out